هلو جريد فايف هاو ار يو اي مس يو سو ماتش كنت بحب شوفكم على طول uh, بتمنى تكونوا عم تشوفوا الاشياء اللي عم نزلها وعم تكتبوا الاشياء اللي صححناها لاست تايم اون يور كوبي بوك اوكي سو توداي وي ار جوينج تو ستارت وذ ذا كوركشن اوف ذا هوم ورك اوف اكسرسايز نمبر 9 ذن وي ار جوينج تو توك اباوت ذا انسيسري زيرو زيروز اور وي كان سي اباوت ذا تريلينج زيروز اوكي Now let's start with exercise number nine, page one hundred twenty. Match the writings that correspond to the same number. Let's start. Clear. Please write them on your copy book. Now we are going to talk about a new idea, which is the unnecessary zeros. Unnecessary zeros. We can call them also trailing zeros. It means we can delete them. Example, the last one, like 12.30, we can delete the zero here, or we can cross it. It's an unnecessary zero or a trailing zero. Look at the video. Here is the explanation. Placeholders and trailing zeros. A decimal can take any digit between 0 and 9. As with whole numbers, a 0 in a decimal place means that this place value is not represented. For example, the 0 in 1 and 2 hundredths means that the tenths place is not represented, but the hundredths place is, and there is a 2 there. So the total value of the decimal part of this number is 2 hundredths. As you can see, the 0 in this decimal number is important. It should be there if we want to represent a decimal value of 2 hundredths. If we don't have a zero, for example, if we just write one and two tenths, then the value of the decimal becomes two tenths, not two hundredths, because we have one decimal place to the right of the decimal point. Since the value we want to represent is two hundredths, we write a zero in the tenths place and a 2 in the hundredths place. This 0 in the tenths place is called a placeholder because it holds the place that we do not use. It is very important to help us put the digits in their right places and get the correct value. Consider now this decimal number. This is the same as the previous decimal number, but we have an extra zero at the end. This last zero is in the thousandths place. It is the third decimal place to the right of the decimal point. Of course, this zero means that we are not representing the thousandths place. So, really, we can actually just ignore it. It does not give us any additional value for the number. If we ignore this zero, we get one and two hundredths, which is the same as the previous number at which we've been looking. This shows us that after the decimal point, zeros on the right that are not followed by a digit between 1 and 9 can be ignored. They are called trailing zeros. They carry no value. This means that these numbers here represent exactly the same value, which is 1 and 2 hundredths. 
But in case you write a digit between 1 and 9 after some zeros, then all the previous zeros will suddenly become placeholders. For example, if we write 1.000, then this number is just 1 because all the zeros in the decimal places have no value. They are trailing zeros. But if we replace the last zero with a digit, such as 9, then the two zeros in the tenths and hundredths places become placeholders. And what would 9 represent? It would represent the thousandths place, so its value would be 9 thousandths. And the complete number will be read as 1 and 9 thousandths. In this lesson, you learned about placeholders and trailing zeros in decimal numbers. Please, after watching the video, open your book on page 120 and solve exercise number 10 on your copybook. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.